Hello and welcome to Rodo's YouTube channel. My name's Luke and today I'm going to show you how easy and quick it is to make a pizza for less than 300 calories using Lodo. Take your Lodo packet, rip the top off, comes with two Lodo pieces so you're going to take your first piece that's the one you're going to use, fold your second piece back into the packet and you fold your packet in half with the piece. This can either go in the fridge for storage or I'm going to show you a little trick so I'm going to leave it here for the time being. You want to separate the tissue paper from your Lodo piece. You can either add sauce straight onto your Lodo from the packet or you can lightly brown off your Lodo like so. Browning your Lodo off first will give it a more of a toasted base feel. I prefer it just for a bit of a crunch. You are then going to take your pizza sauce, tablespoon, sauce one and two, and you want to spread it all the way to the edge. You then want to take your cheese. We've gone for 75 grams of mozzarella. You could be as indulgent as you want with it, obviously with it only being 39 calories per base. Cheese straight on. And again, you want to spread to the edge. The trick is to make sure that the whole of the base is covered with sauce or cheese. There's no crust with a Lodo pizza. Lodo don't do crust. So once you've spreaded your sauce and cheese all the way to the edge, you can top with your favourite herbs and spices. Some of these on. Voila! Simple. First of all, you want to preheat your oven to 220 degrees. Like so. So with the packet, the spare piece that we put to one side and forwarded away before, what you can do with this piece is if you take a piece of cling film, take out the folded piece from earlier and place said piece onto the cling film. Once you've fully prepared the pizza, you want to wrap the cling film from the corners into the middle of the pizza like so. So once you've wrapped your prepared pizza in the cling film, bear in mind this is your second piece. You take your pizza and you want to store it in the freezer. So obviously once you've stored it in the freezer, it will be a frozen pizza. Beauty of this, you can cook them from frozen. Undo the cling film that you wrapped it in and it is ready to cook. I'm going to cook both of these pizzas at the same time so that you can see that it doesn't affect the taste or the quality of the actual overall pizza. Place it on another one of these pizza boards, racks, pizza racks. Again I'm going to put both of them on the top shelf because they will fit on the top shelf, doesn't matter, top, middle, just swap them around halfway through. After 10 minutes in the oven, or when your pizza is browned, you can take them out of the oven. It is the frozen pizza. And the chilled pizza. This is the frozen Lodo pizza. Uh, this is the fresh Lodo pizza. As you can see, they look the exact same. For full macros and socials, please check the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and check the website for more recipes.